Hi everybody, this is my unboxing and review of the LG 1.5 cubic foot 1200 watt microwave. So this is a black stainless steel, just so you know. Um, there was some damage on the box, so I'm hoping it's not scratched up when I take it out, but we're gonna see. Um, my old one, my old microwave that was uh, 15 years old has finally given up the ghost and uh, it's, uh, it's not heating anything anymore. So I had to replace it with something new and this is what we decided to get to replace it. So let's take a look, let's open this up and see how it looks and it may, hopefully it's not damaged. As I said, that scratch does worry me a little bit or the, this dent in the box on this side. So let's take a look. All right, here we go. When opening this stuff, by the way, always make sure, make little tiny cuts. You don't want to dig all the way through and scratch anything. So there we go. Box is open. It's wrapped up nice, nice and has a uh, plastic sheathing over it or just a cellophane wrap to protect it. Let's just see if these pop out. Corner pieces are popping out. Cord popped up over here. Let's just unwrap this a little bit. All right. Still not sure how I'm going to get this out of here. Let's just see if I can grab it. I'm trying to be gentle and not grab. You don't have any handholds or anything on the sides of this, so. There we go. Alright, box goes on the floor. This comes down right here. First thing first, uh, it looks like this is damaged. So I will have to take this back. Uh, it's actually damaged quite a bit. It's dented in. So it looks like this will have to go back and I'll have to do this again. Alright, second attempt here. The other one had a uh, dent in the side as you guys saw. So I went ran into the store and exchanged it. So let's open up this one and hopefully we don't have the same issue again. All right, this time we're good, no dents in it. And we have got the gray power cord over here on the back. Um, it does stick out a little bit, just so you can see here, like most microwaves, it does have this little bump on the back. It's a little bigger than I think some of the other ones, but overall it's pretty good. There is a fan, I'll turn this around here for you. There's a fan right here, so you might need to have that little extra space. Um, feels like this is a, can be pulled out or replaced this cord right here. I'm not gonna pull it out. It'd probably take off this case, it can. Onto the front here. We're gonna just remove this plastic wrap from the front. So as you can see, it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna come around here. We've got the door here, handles on the side. So it's not like a lot of the other ones that you find where you have the, a handle sticking out or a button you push in. There is actually an, a handle that's hidden on the side here. Let's open it up. We've got our tray in here. Let's see if we can get this out. All right, so what we have here, flip this over so I can pull it away. We have our glass tray and our other piece in here, which they touted multiple times online. So this has the normal three pieces right here that you normally find, but this is different. Most other manufacturers have just three prongs sticking out. And I know that in our microwave, especially we've had things fall over. And of course, here's the manual here. Uh, we've had things fall over in the microwave because this does not stay balanced if you have something that's sort of off-center. They do tout this as a major advantage. Right, there's a piece of tape over this. You take that out. There's one little piece of styrofoam in here. This is supposed to be an easy clean inside. It does feel very slick um, as far as the way it feels. So hopefully that is true. All right, let me put this piece of glass in here. Now, I will be honest, before I use this for any type of food, for the family, I will wash all of this stuff. I believe in washing everything that comes from a store, if you're gonna to touch, have food touch it or be placed in here. And that is just to make sure that if there's any chemicals or anything, you are taking them off. So I highly recommend washing this or just rinsing it with water just to make sure it's clean. So, now this one also is a little bit different. It has buttons over here. 
on the side. Let's take this piece of plastic off. So this does have a smart diagnosis feature, I guess, where you can connect it to your smartphone and figure out what's wrong with it. Um, but what's interesting is that this covers up the buttons, but it has some buttons on the front here that you can still click. And this is this is glass, and this is all smudge proof, so there's no fingerprints or anything, which is nice. But then you also have more buttons in here as far as what you want to do. So let me clean this, some of this up, plug it in, and we'll put some water in here and see how long it takes to boil a cup of water. All right, it is plugged in and we are ready to try a cup of water in here. So first thing first though, let's go look at these buttons on the front here and set the clock, just so you can see how this works. So this says right now, 12 hours. I'm guessing this is 12 or 24. I have not read the manual yet, which I normally would do before I set these things, but normally they're pretty clear. So let's see, hold for three seconds for clock. All right, maybe not. Set this to the right time, just to try it out. It does move pretty fast, which is nice. I've seen some of these that move really slow. All right, so there we go. It's set to the right time right now. It has a nice bright light inside, so I'm gonna bring you down and we're gonna put some a cup of water in here and see how long it takes to boil. Okay, I've got my one cup of water in here. There is some salt in the water just to make sure that there's some minerals in there or something so it will boil. We're going to start this and put it on for about five minutes. It should boil well before that, but we're going to see how long it takes. And I'll kind of speed it up so that way you don't have to watch the entire thing, but you can see how long. So let's just see here. We're going to enter, close this. Two minutes, there we go. It is pretty bright, but not as clear as I would like as far as uh, being able to see. And you can see in a little bit, you see more of my reflection though than anything. So it does kind of, uh, it's not as bright as it says. Um, I know that they make a big deal about that, but my old microwave I felt was a lot brighter. I can still see inside, uh, but it's not nearly as bright. So let's see how long this takes to get it boiling. All right, so it looked like it was boiling when I when I opened the door here. So that took almost two minutes to boil to get this boiling, but it's, it's steam coming off of it if you can't tell. So it's definitely hot. It's definitely worked. Um, we'll see if I if it needs any adjustment later as far as uh, how how our cooking times go. I know that this one is a little bit more powerful than our old microwave was, which was a little a little bit smaller. And I think it was only 1,000 watts instead of 1,200. So we'll have to see if we have to adjust any cooking. But it did work just fine to, to heat up the water as would need be needed for tea or coffee. So overall, it looks like it works pretty well. You guys can judge a little bit on the noise. I mean, all these microwaves are a little bit noisy when you, uh, when you run them. But I didn't think it was too bad. And I know that I've had some that are louder and some that are much more quiet. But uh, for one that is uh, as small as this one, I think it's pretty nice. Um, just to also comment here, I noticed that on the top here, it had this little label right here, and I was really worried that this might heat up, but it doesn't feel like it is. So I don't know why they have this on here. I'll have to do some research on that. Uh, but you know, this entire metal piece, that nothing feels warm. The fan on the back does it feels fine as well. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this microwave. We'll have to test it out a little bit longer to really see how it works, but uh, now it's time to clean it and put it in its spot. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you.